Tech Fit Tech, welcome back to my channel. I just tested positive for COVID this morning, which is not so fun because I'm going to miss Christmas this year. But you know what is fun? Channeling that energy into something positive for you. So today you're learning how to remove dust spots from your time lapses. We've all been there. You've shot a nice time lapse and then you watch it in the end after you've processed it or when you're processing it and you're like, dang, wish I cleaned my sensor or my lens or whatever, really. Now, pretty much anything, any mistake you make in time lapse, you can fix in post-production. And there's many different ways to go about fixing things in post-production. But this way is by far the simplest and maybe the smartest way to do that using machine learning. So Adobe has Adobe Sensei, which is pretty much a very smart machine learning algorithm or an engine or whatever you want to call it. And I believe machine learning is what is used here for the content aware fill effect for video. Content Aware Fill has been a part of Photoshop for ages where it looks at surrounding pixels and tries to piece together something to fill in uh, that you're you know, masking out. Now we're going to be doing that for moving images, which is pretty next level, but it is also pretty dang simple. So in this simple tutorial, I'm teaching you how to do just that. Let's begin. We're working with a time lapse that I've already processed and rendered. So I've imported my file into After Effects. As you can see, this is the file. It plays back not too smoothly currently because I'm filming and screen recording, etc. But as you can see, there is quite a large dust spot here and there's actually quite a few more. There's one there and there's one here as well. Now, how do we, how do we solve that? How do we fix those? There are ways like clone stamping, etc. or you can try and use the brush tool in Lightroom, but then you're going to be working for a very long time, we're gonna make life so much easier. Create a composition from your footage by right-clicking on that footage and clicking New Comp from Selection. It's pretty much how every After Effects tutorial starts. Double-click to make sure you're in that composition and then using the Command or Control Plus, you can zoom in and holding space, you can drag. Now go to the Ellipse tool and just create a little circle around the dust spot. You can move the circle around. Shouldn't have done that because I almost lost it. Uh, while holding spacebar as well, which um, I assume you know, but in case you don't, that is a very handy tip. And just release that. Here at the bottom, go to subtract, which means you've created a mask that, and now you're subtracting, subtracting the mask from the footage. And on the right here, you can see that I'm already in the content aware fill panel. And you see that is now reflected here. That's the fill target that the footage is going to look at. Now I need to find my other dust spots. Um, so let's hit the play, there we go. There's the other one. You can zoom in even more if you wanna be very precise, but we don't need to be too precise here, just kinda roughly like that. Uh, zoom out, and where's the other spot? I believe it is here, yeah, that's the one. So roughly the circle around it like that as well. Make sure you are on subtract mode, shaboom, shaboom. And literally all you gotta do now is uh, here on the right, in this content aware fill panel, um, make sure you're on edge blend, entire duration is set. You can do it for a work area as well. But now if you hit generate fill layer, you'll see in the timeline, it has created a new layer and it's actually a sequence of PNGs. For every frame, for every image, it is generating an image in which it fills that out. And as you can see here, it is doing that in a sequence that is an image sequence, but it is looked at as uh, footage, just like we would import a sequence of photos. And you see here, it's analyzing, it's going pretty quickly. I'm just gonna cancel that because I've already done that. Once that is finished, you literally just render it out as you would any other footage and you're done. Here's once again, the before and the after and how simple was that? Technology, eh? So good. What a fast track. So much faster. You know what else is faster? If you want to learn time lapse, instead of doing a lot of trial and error, you can check out the ultimate time lapse course or the ultimate time lapse guide if you're more on a budget. But uh, I've condensed a decade's worth of knowledge in these things and I think they're pretty darn good. Some really great reviews as well. I might pop one on screen right now. Very happy with it. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate, whatever you're doing. I hope you're well. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're staying safe. And I hope I don't get too sick. This is probably my last video for the year. Um, it's been an interesting year to say the least, but I'll see you guys very soon. You can find me on the gram as per always, doing silly Instagram stories and all that. And I should really be doing more TikTok. I've got a very fun announcement soon. I'm, I'm planning a sort of a new show across channels, but more on that, more on that. Um, yeah, I'm bad at endings, you know this. I'm very bad at ending the year, uh, especially, so yeah. PD Purchase, please. 
Thanks, goodbye, hope to see you soon. May your skies be filled with fluffy clouds.